This is Narrowboat the Oak. She is a 57 foot traditional style narrowboat built and fitted out by Herring Boat Builders in 2003. So starting at the front of the boat, you've got the gas lock here, um, holds two 13 kilogram gas bottles. You've got a tunnel light there with your port and starboard nav lights. And then there's a bracket just above there, which holds a secondary tunnel light and the horn. So you've got a front cratch and cover, looking in good condition. And then at the front of the boat, you've got a just a single seat there. It also holds the isolation switch and the batteries to the Balfuster tube. And then you've got your fresh water point just there. And then you've got your two front steel doors. And there's no windows at the front of this boat. So moving down the boat, you've got the flue and the chimney just there. And also the aerial for the radio. And then you've got the additional TV aerials and boating equipment, boat poles, such things like that. The windows are gold anodized going down the boat and there is a side hatch on the outboard side of the boat. You've got your life ring just there with the center lines and then you've got a storage box with some fenders just there and the fenders are actually secured on. And then you've got your two, two solar panels just there. I believe each solar panel is 150 watts. Carrying on down the back of the boat, yeah, the, the oak. Come to the traditional stern. Got the two seats, and then the fuel point is just here. Under the cover there is an anchor, and then also there's access there to the weed hatch. Also, um, a bit unique to this boat is there is a bit of a storage so you can put your maps and such things in there and then using the handcuff key, additional secure storage just in there as well. And then you've got a rear view mirror so you can see who's creeping up behind you as you're having a leisurely cruise down the canal. So at the back of the boat, obviously with traditional steering, the engine's enclosed. You've got the control panels here, Morse control, engine panel there. Um, ours are unknown on this boat. And then there's the controls to the battle thruster. And then you've got the various different things, engine stop, um, on, bilge pump, and the lights, tunnel light. What I'll do is I'll get the engine boards opened up for you and we'll have a look inside. So this is the Oaks engine bay. As you can tell, it is in really good condition. No signs of water. So this is an Azuzu Marine 38 four cylinder engine. As I said earlier, the hours are unknown. And then you've got the PRM 150D2 gearbox. You've got the galvanic isolators just there in the corner. And then the batteries are just in that cupboard. I'll show you in a second. And you've got the tiller bars just there, a couple of choices, along with all the associated boating equipment that you need. And then there's a radio with the speakers. So in this cupboard, just under there, you'll be able to find the domestic and starter battery, which I will show you later on in the video. Right then, let's go and have a look in the boat. Okay then, stepping into the boat from the front and you've got the lounge area. So let's start off with the stove, it's a Morso Squirrel. Looks in excellent condition. And then you come across the step, that's got some storage inside it. And this is a door here, so only the steps, open that door and you've got access to the water tank. You also have the second radio CD player just there. And then you've got the television there, which is a mains TV. Under that, some storage. Again, some shelving just there. 
and one of the speakers for the stereo system. Looking down the boat, you've got two brown leather chairs with a stool and then the nice side lights. This boat was um, insulated with rock wool and it is light oak panelling used on the, on the walls. So carrying on down the boat, you've got some more storage there, some drawers. And then just there is the um, horn and extra tunnel light, which can be hooked up separately at the front of the boat. You've got an L-shaped seating that converts into a double bed. Also, the um, there's another table further down the boat, so that turns it into a, a lot bigger table. And also have this the little one as an addition. So carrying on, come to the kitchen area. So we'll start off with the fridge. Indy set fridge, it is mains, um, not 12 volts. So you will need to have the inverter on or be hooked up to mains to run it. Got a cabinet just there. Again, storage, plenty of storage under the sink. And then to optimize the storage, these pull out and there's two of them. Cooker is a stoves cooker, cooker and grill. And then you've got the Vanet um, 4000 slash two, uh, four burn hob. Got the side hatches just here. So there we go. And then there's some additional storage just here. This bar, and um, when the side hatch is shut, screw it on and it adds extra security to the boat and there is also one for the front door as well so we'll carry on down the boat there's the table and it's storage and you come to the bathroom so it's a fat thick cassette access is just here and there's also two spare cassettes just there and then you've got the sink again storage underneath some shelving just there and then you come to the shower being very well looked after right let's carry on coming to the bedroom area now you've got a standard fixed double Again, some overhead storage. And also the speaker just there to the stereo system. You've got the bed just here as well as storage underneath and also the chlorifiers underneath here. The chlorifier is heated via the engine and also has an immersion heater element. So the wardrobe here. In here is the Sterling inverter, 1800 watt, I believe. And then we're back at the rear of the boat. So as I said, I'll show you the batteries. So batteries are stored underneath there and they carry on underneath here, which has got all the paneling. So you've got the RCD for the mains. You've got the isolator switches just there changeover switch from the shoreline to the inverter and that's the immersion heater switch you got your management system for the batteries and then your power your, um, control panel for the inverter and then your distribution board for the 12 volt system Shut that. right let's go back outside and i'll show you the last final Okay, the last few details about the oak. So plating specification, 10 mil base plate, six mil sides, and then four mil tops. The diesel tank capacity is 135 liters and the water tank capacity is 900 liters. Boat safety expires in November, 2023. And it was last, the boat was last blacked in March of 2000. The anodes were checked and found to be okay. 
For more details about this boat, please contact us on 01270 528 251 or visit our website, venetianmarina.co.uk for more details. So uh, for more videos like these, please subscribe to our YouTube page. And thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.